I taught myself to draw in Procreate in 30 days and I thought let's make a video about it. We are going to need an Apple Pen, an iPad, the Procreate app and the ability to use YouTube search. What method did I use? The idea was to carve some time out of my day every day for 30 days in a row. This didn't happen but doesn't matter. I'd pick a random beginners tutorial and just follow it until the end and when I was done I post it to my social media. Why do we need this you may wonder. Well my young grasshopper I will tell you publicly committing to something helps you ship. Has it ever happened that you promised yourself something only to opt out by telling the world you will do so and so? You're pressuring yourself to follow through so it's a really effective way to to start and finish things. You might want to give it a try. Now, how did it go? I learned that as a noob illustrator, one minute of tutorial is around 10 minutes for me to draw on the iPad because I will have one hand, my non-dominant hand, on the spacebar to pause the video or rewind. And with the other one, I'll be drawing. I follow tutorials by four creators, Art by Melody, Luma Lama, The Gal Schur, and Floortjes Art. For scientific purposes, I include this spreadsheet. You see that the regularity is pretty decent at the beginning. I started off with a five day streak, missed one day but recovered immediately thereafter. Then I drew for 16 days in a row. Further down it starts getting a little spotty. At one point I missed four days and I noticed that the longer you break away from your streak, the harder it is to get back into it. What do we learn from this? Do not break the streak. Finish something until the end. As you can see on the spreadsheet, most tutorials were by Art by Melody. Later on I switched but that was mainly because I was running out of tutorials. I already did nearly all of the ones she has on her YouTube channel. Her tutorials were the first that I tried thanks to her work and I really got the basics of Procreate drawing down. Her tutorials are easiest to follow. She does not skip any steps and she doesn't assume that the viewer already knows what she's talking about. Which drawing do you like most? Let me know in the comments! Recap! The learning curve in the first two weeks was steepest. After that it was more or less or mostly consolidating what I've learned and I did that through further practice. The more I practiced, the faster I got. For example, when I watch a tutorial and the artist does not mention the brush that they're using, I can more or less see in which section of the brushes section it is. Uh, <laughs> I can find something similar, if that makes sense. I understand how layering works, how to work with clipping masks, alpha lock. Overall, I can just work faster and this, this comes with practice. That's a wrap! If you're interested in Procreate Digital Drawing, I can wholeheartedly recommend Art by Melody. Start there, you'll learn all the basics you need, in my opinion. So thank you for watching and see you in another video.